This week, we read the Pasha of Vayigash. And we read how Yosef is joined by his brother and father and family when the entire family of Yaakov comes down to the land of Egypt. And the Torah tells us that the family of Yaakov coming to the land of Egypt totaled 70. And when you actually go through all the names that are mentioned, we only find 69 names. Who was number 70? Well, some want to say it's Yaakov. Yaakov was part of the group of 70. Others say no, it can't be Yaakov because it says the descendants of Yaakov, which means aside for Yaakov. What's the difference? Well, it's important to realize that Yaakov cannot be part of the 70 because Yaakov did not really go down to Egypt. As the Rebbe explains, it was only Yaakov's body that descended into the land of Egypt. But Yaakov's soul, the neshama of Yaakov, that remained back in the land of Israel. That remained connected with its source. And therefore, as far as his soul was concerned, he wasn't in Egypt. As Jews, we have to know that our bodies are in Golos, in exile, but our neshama is connected with God Himself. And therefore, we have the power to be able to rise above any situation that comes our way when it's something that may prevent us from serving God or doing a good deed. We have to know that as Jews, our neshama is connected. Our neshama is not in Golos. And therefore, no reason why not to do a mitzvah, no reason why not to rise to the occasion, whatever it may be. May God bless us that we should be successful on our mission. Shabbat Shalom to you all.